Hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. Uh, well, I've just finished work. Uh, I was being, I've been working at home today and I thought I'll do something different for today's video. So I'm going to show you where I keep all my cross stitch kits and we're going to sort through them together uh, so that I get them in uh, categories so uh, if I can find all my flower ones out then I can join uh, Stitching Saturdays with Laura who's moving on to flowers so, but all my kits, they're all mixed up at the minute. So I keep them in here. And I've got them in these fabric baskets. Like that. And I've got them in these giant bags. I've got more kits in there. And then I've had to uh, put some in drawers out here. So I've got my little uh, display unit going under the stairs and I've had to start putting kits in there. So I'll put this one in there. Um, there's some in this drawer. There's some in this drawer. So I need to get them all out. And then I can uh, see what I've got and if there's any uh, specific categories we can put them into. So that's our little job for this evening. That'll be exciting, won't it? So uh, let me get them all out and we'll go through them. See you in a bit. So I've got all my kits in one place and now they're all together. I can't believe I've got that many. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so I'm going to count them up as well as sort them. Uh, they might be or they probably will be a bit of rustling with the plastic bags. Uh, because every time I go to buy the... Uh, zippy bags at the range um i've never got any in so uh, i keep calling but um i'm still waiting uh, so i don't know how to do this basically um probably start with the the ones that aren't in a storage box and uh, we'll try and categorize them now, Disney's upstairs asleep at the minute, so uh, I'm hoping he'll uh, stay up there. So that's the beautiful wardrobe. This one's the Chinese uh, motif one. I think these are the water, um, not water, the window scene ones. So I'll pause it while I just have a look and try and get the pictures to the top. And then we'll have another look. Yes, yeah, so these were like um, the winter scenes through a window. Um, there was a blue one and then there was a, a red cushion one and that's what these two are. So they're, they're winter. Then this was a snowman. So I'll do that as Christmas. I hope I'm not going to make you dizzy doing this. Let's do a meal. So that's another Christmas. That's a Christmas. That's 
for Christmas. Uh, Christmas window. Um, so I'm going to keep these as like beach theme ones. So uh, we'll have a beach pile. These can all go across to Christmas. See? Bit of organisation. Um, I think this is my mini mouse. I think. Yeah, I can see I go there. So, mini mouse. Um, Make a separate pile at the minute. Uh, this is the summer one. Um, we'll keep that as a separate one at the minute. Um, I'm going to keep that with my beach one. Embroidery kit. Flowers. Mm, yeah, I'll keep that to one side. That might come in handy for Laura's uh, stitching Saturday. London Tower Bridge. So, um, I'll keep a separate one for that one. Because when we find New Orleans, I can sort of have countries or something. From Laura. One uh, oh, that's a Christmas one. That's the uh, Christmas globe. Snow globe. I didn't start that one. So that can go on to my Christmas. Oh, look. So that's that. Flowers, leaves. Mm. I don't know. Uh, this one is the uh, big flower one that Laura sent me. Uh, so that can go there. This one. Oh, this is the one with the cat lady, girl in a chair. on the run at the minute. Christmas ones, but oh, oh, oh. me taking over Stephen's baskets. Yeah. Well, we'll be glad uh, when I've sorted uh, my cross stitching out because then we'll be able to have his baskets back. Oh, this is a Halloween one. Well, I would class it as Halloween, it's Masquerade Lady. I'll make a 
squish pile for that. Oh, that's my Halloween pumpkin. So that can go there. That one is actually a finish and that can go into my completed patterns. I've not started that one. That's another place. So I think we've got that basket. did a review on my cross stitches back in the summertime so you might have to scroll through a load of my videos but if you're interested in um, going through them then uh, please do look at that check that video out uh, so that's another flowers one oh the beautiful sunflower one sunflower window yeah I love that one Flourish shops. Mm. Not sure. I'll keep that over there. Trees. Put, I'll put that with my flowers. <clears throat> no, this is like a Chinese. Um, Thai lady. Put that with that Chinesey one there, Japanese one. Oh, I can hear Disney coming down the stairs. Oh, this is going to be fun. House. Probably put that with the florist. Upstairs, <laughs> you good boy. Mummy's just sorting. Mummy's sorting. Oh, look, there's your twin here. Who's this? Who's this? Is that you? <laughs> no, it's not you, is it? It's similar, but not as pretty as you. Because you're my handsome boy, aren't you? You're my handsome boy. Right, I'm not going to go through the counted ones. Um, I'm just going to do pre-stamped. That's another house one. That one's actually nearly finished. Uh, so I'll leave that one there for now. A beautiful bouquet. My daughter bought me that for Mother's Day last year. So that's another flower one. Got Sunflower Girl. not particularly a flower one but it goes with that one it's a set uh, got another shop so I'll put that one there and I've got my beautiful Chinese lady on the bridge that's in that Chinese pile Now this one, um, could I get away with that as flowers? I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I'll put it in there and we'll see. Um, another lady in that one. Um, Don't know what to do with that one either. Might just do that as a separate one for now. And then these are all my counted. So I'm not going there. We'll leave them as they are for now. 
Then I've just got these big ones and that's a Halloweeny one. Um, it's a cat and a, a witch, that one. And this one, this has got my New Orleans in and it's got my Disney Cafe. So, because they're really big, I can't get them into a basket. So I'll just leave them separate for now. So what I will do, I will... Uh, Try and make better piles. Now I've got a rough idea. Hello. Hello, my poo poo. And um, uh, start categorising them. So uh, join me in a while when uh, I should have them all put away. See you in a bit. Right, I'm all sorted now, all packed and all put away and I found the flower one that I want to start stitching on. Uh, this is my stitching chair where I like to sit next to uh, all Stephen's uh, dolls I call them but obviously they're uh, collectible statues but uh, in my world they're dolls. <laughs> um, so it's the uh, sunflower window one. I really love this one. So um, I'm going to be uh, getting some stitches in this. Ready for when Saturday comes along. And uh, don't forget, stitching with Laura. And her Saturday stitch along. And it's got, the theme is flowers. So... Go and find some something to stitch on. Right, enough chatter now. So uh, I'm going to get a coffee and uh, then I'm going to put some stitches in this. So take care for now. Bye.